I met Chris Dungy in um, a directory that came from Strings Magazine, and it listed all the different makers and luthiers around the country. Well, he caught my eye for two reasons. One is he was in Colorado, and the other was because he only builds cellos. And I thought, well, that's interesting, because I have this cello sound, this cello voice in my head all these years that is a really big, full, it's like this big kind of muscular cello sound. And I'd always heard that and never found one. And I thought, well, maybe, just maybe. So I called Chris up, and he said, I just strung up a cello like two days ago. You'll be the second person to play it, and you should come over to the workshop and check it out. And I did, and that was the voice. From when I sat down and played that cello, I had goosebumps and tears, and it's like, I found it. As a musician, you're always looking for your voice and your instrument, whether that's a guitar or a cello, that becomes your voice. The whole process of deciding, you know, who, first of all, who the builder is going to be, uh, in this case, uh, Bo uh, Hannum, uh, he's from Sydney, Australia, and uh, I saw his work, and then I played one of his instruments, and the, they blew me away. Um, and he's not only a, a wonderful guitar builder, but he's also an artisan, so he's every facet of the guitar, you just look at it and it's flawless and it's perfect. So, you know, the odds that now 10 minutes away is a world-class guitar builder from a world-class cello builder, you know, that they've now been able to collaborate on this project to make sure the woods are correct, to make sure that the colors are going to wind up being the same on the instruments when, the fin when they're finished. Uh, it's just an incredible set of coincidences. We were here in Grand Junction giving a concert um, through Chris. And Chris said, there's something i got to show you. And he took us down to his wood room and showed us. And I just, I recognized this tree. And he said, that's the same tree as your original phoenix. Uh, so the leftover pieces that Chris had from the top and back and side were enough wood to build a guitar. So not only is the guitar from the same tree as the cello, it's literally from the same chunk of wood. So they're going to share the same DNA. Now, that's just cool. And... You know, we have no idea ultimately what the sounds will be until we actually play the instruments. The cello and the wood and these trees, I just, I have such a strong connection. And I just keep thinking of the story of how there's, you know, these trees were just standing in their own habitat for all those decades. And then, you know, when Chris cut down the tree that is the top of these instruments years ago, probably in the tree's mind. I was like, well, that's it. Here I go, you know, end of my story. Well, then through these instruments, these instruments are going to live easily 300 years. I'm only the first chapter of my cello's life. Yeah, waiting for an instrument like this is just so exciting and seeing each part of it, the scroll get carved and come to life. It's like, that's all going to be the piece of it. And then playing it for the first time is really the culmination because that's when you finally get to hear what your voice is going to be for the next however long you can play. That's, that's amazing. And I just, I just think it's magic. It's pure magic. <laughs> I mean, the first post that we did on Facebook said, we're expecting. And it actually feels like that in a, in a crazy way because it's lovely. It's a short gestation and there's really no pain <laughs> for me. And, but you still never know until the instrument's done and you have it in your hand what it's going to sound like. And even then, it takes years for an instrument to find its voice. Everything from the relationship to the tree, the relationship to the luthiers, you know, our, Joe's and my relationship as musicians, and then what has become our life in our, in our love because of that growing out of the music as well. We already feel like we just get to live this life that is beyond what we knew to dream about before. And so upon delivering the instruments, we're going to go into a creative retreat and finish writing the music for this next CD with the instruments on our hands because there will be music that we won't know is there until we're fingers on those strings. <laughs>